Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to add comments in JSX. Uh, JSX is a syntax that gets compiled into, a into valid JavaScript. Sometimes for readability, you might need to add comments to your code. Like most programming languages, JSX has its own way to do this. To put comments inside JSX, use the syntax of a curly break bracket, a forward slash, and then an uh, asterisk and then an asterisk and a forward slash and another curly bracket, uh, closing curly bracket to wrap around the comment text. The code editor has a JSX element similar to what you created in the last challenge. So we've got a single div element with an H1 and a P element within the JSX wrapper. We want to add comments somewhere within the, provi the provided div element without modifying the existing H1 or P element. So we could just say, um, I mean, if you were really writing this, you might want to add something like this in here. Oh, it auto-closed it for me. So this is the comment. And then in here, we can just say uh, beginning of website. Like, yes, web website start. Which would be a silly thing to write in a comment uh, with the H1 element. But the idea here is just that we're making a comment. And we run the tests, and that should pass. Okay, cool. Uh, if you were, if you made a mistake on this one, maybe you did something like if you added the comment outside of the div element and you ran it here, this would cause the program to fail. Uh, it's not actually running the failed test thing, but this is just probably not compiling, so it's not working. Uh, it doesn't matter if you put it at the beginning or the end, that would actually still cause a successful pass. Um, I think you could actually put it within a P element as well because this would still just uh, come out as a comment. But uh, if you maybe failing it would have been something if you had adjusted the code. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you don't uh, change anything within the H1 or the P uh, element. And uh, yeah, you can't add it at the top either because this would be outside of this div element, which would fail uh, the JSX. Uh, transpiler or uh, compiler. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.